Well, it's a little bit of a calm one today out at Hollower Inlet, so everybody's out having a good time. Welcome back, guys. It is your boy Broncos Guru, along with our boy Wavy Boats down at the inlet getting the images, and it's this episode of Boats vs. Hollower, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hollower Inlet in Miami, Florida. And everybody seems to like having their own version of a good time at Hollower, kind of like this guy's having right here, I guess. Well, let's go ahead and get this episode started, guys. Our first boat to do battle with Hallover this week is going to show us what it's like when you come rolling through Hallover Inlet strapped. And not the kind of strapped some people might think about. Maybe this one means strapped for cash, kind of by looking at this boat. But these guys are actually physically strapped. They've got this bimini top strapped down for dear life. All the straps going on here, even the beating they're taking coming through Hallover, I don't think there's any way this bimini top's going anywhere. Even though it does look a little bit loose. But these guys have a lot of courage to be rolling through Hallover in a boat like this. Even though it is a little bit of a calm day, this one can still do a lot of damage pretty quick to something like this. I'm just guessing by the rest of this boat, it's probably not in the greatest shape in the world either. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below who you think won this round, whether the boat did or Hallover. I'm going to give this round to Hallover for the beating they took as they first started coming through the inlet though. Our second boat to do battle with Hallover Inlet this week is going to show you the best boat for a beginner who's coming through Hallover, and that's going to be the HCB Swanios. If you've never seen my original channel, Broncos Guru, you may have never seen the video I did on the best boat for beginners, and you should go check that video out. But this shows you why the HBC Swanios is one of the best boats for a Hallover beginner, because you know what? It doesn't really matter what you do, it's going to make you look like a pro as you come through Hallover Inlet. And it's one of the reasons why this boat's going to take the win for the boats here in the second round. Our third boat to do battle with Hallover is going to show you what it's like when Hallover layeth the smacketh down. Uh oh, Right here, they've lost a two. Wife's already yelling at the cap as they're rolling through the inlet, but he's blasting through in this little cobia until right about now. Now he's knocked everybody down in the boat. He was coming in through Hallover too fast for the conditions in this size vessel and basically lost the tube and then knocked his whole family down. This round right here will definitely go to Hallover Inlet, and Wifey's gonna give him an earful on this one. Some of you may know that I love watching these big catamarans come rolling through Hallover, but sometimes it's fun to watch these baby cats do it too. I believe this is the World Cat, the 23 foot dual console model, and my man with twin 115s on the back is absolutely getting it blasting his way through Hallover. This just goes to show you it's not just the big cats that can get it done, the little cats can get it done too, and this round will go to the boats. And this will take us into our fifth and final round, tied it to a piece. Who will take the win this week? Well, our last boater is going to show us what it's like when you're coming through Hallover Inlet just trying to have a good time. Here we can see these guys are slow rolling through Hallover, but they've already taken a wave over the bow. But once again, this one looks like it's a designed attempt. They put all the weight in the bow of this vessel. Everybody's kind of up here laughing, having a good time as they come slow rolling through Hallover. All over. Now, I still don't typically recommend this. I understand why some people do it. They think it's fun to get up there and get wet, but they do look like they're trying to take it as safe as they can take it. I'm going to let you guys call this one. Who takes this win this week? Is it the boats or Hallover Inlet? If it was just my call, I would probably go ahead and give the round to the boats this week. It was just kind of a calm day at Hallover, and I'll call a few of you who vote out in the next video we do. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Hallover. If you did, be sure to check out our other channels. We have Wavy Boats, who gets us all this great footage down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And our newest channel, Miami Boat Ramps, that focuses on all the hilarious stuff that happens on the boat ramps down in Miami. Be sure to check that one out if you haven't checked it out as well and if you haven't already guys go ahead and drop an anchor on that subscribe button or we're gonna come steal your tube just like Hallover did to the third boater in this video